touchdown. All right, engine off. Right. We have any significant calm? We've got that little thing, but we don't have comms right now. Okay. Well, crew report. We'll store it. The relay will be coming around eventually. It's over there right now. Delta V wise, the two stages combined should be able to make orbit again. But I don't see any stones. Uh, I don't know about green sandstone around here. Maybe they'll materialize when she gets outside. Takes a while to do a crew report, huh? Okay, crew report done. EBA. Okay, let go before you topple the pod. Oh god, she's close to the landing leg. <laughs> okay, well, we're doing the full featured thing, surface sample. No planting a flag though, apparently, we don't have that. Okay, well, roam around a bit and trying to figure out if there's a stone. There's no stone. I mean, it is flat around here. There's nothing. Basin biomes, I don't think so. That's a flat horizon. Never seen such a flat horizon. Well, let's try the jetpack boost up. Anything that doesn't look like a speck on my monitor? Some article dust or something? Anything more substantial? Nope, not really. Okay, well, we'll have to get the green stand sandstone some other time. Suddenly quite apparent that I need to clean my screen a bit, though. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, I did not expect you to go on to that side. Alright, some data was transferred. I'd like Luemini to stick around on the surface until the relay pops around. Okay, we got the surface, uh, the EV report. And the crew report. Of course, the surface sample we'll have to bring around, I suppose. Okay, well, we need to get back to Hermes Transfer 2. So we'll have to wait until we're back in line with that. Okay, I think we'll go now. Yep. Go. Hope I didn't forget anything. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Let me plot our intercept. Oh, well, there's a periapsis there and a potential intercept over there. Or a nicer one over here. Is 6,000 safe though? It looks safe. Well, and we'll just reserve the liquid fuel and oxidizer and go with the mod propellant engine now. Okay, and go. We're communicating right now. Let's see if there's a new biome for an EVA report. Uh, nope, this isn't amazing though. Now where did the the surface sample actually go? <laughs> I don't even know where the surface sample went or whether we're still carrying it. Seems like there's a slot here. Can Lemony actually carry that back? Hmm. We might need a special container or something. I vaguely remember such things. Okay, please tell me this is a different biome. Not really. Okay, forget it. Oh, nitrogen reserves are getting low. We can't EVA that often. Do our rendezvous. Make sure we're not crashing into the surface here. We're higher than I thought we were supposed to be. Oh, she probably pushed a pod. 
We're probably a bit off now. Okay, we'll do another correction over there and that should do the trick. Okay, slowing down. I don't know yeah, the data ways of this. Um, take data. Hopefully. Extend periscope, apparently. Well, hopefully we got the data. Doesn't actually say, but I did click take data, just for the record. Alright. Off we go. Okay, board. None of data transferred from Luenemy Kerman to Hermes Transfer 2. No more nitrogen. Oh no! Why is there no more nitrogen in here? Oh no. That's gonna limit how long before she goes nuts. Ah, uh, where did the nitrogen go? How did the nitrogen leak out like that? Well, we've got a surface sample thing here. Um, info. Uh, info. Well, I don't know how long she can survive in here. Her stress is raised 17%, her radiation 42%. Well, we have only one thing we can do is try to get her back home as soon as possible, so that is what we're going to do. Got... We should turn off the mob propellant engine, start up the main engine again. 1,962. We do want to be in a particular orbit, not something inclined like that. We want to be equatorial. There's a moon encounter <laughs> that we don't need. I mean, that's looking like we'll have an intercept right there. That would be good. 1,953 though. No, I don't want to take that much. Um, we could probably... well, that's everything. As usual, it's trying to take all my Delta V. Typical. Game. Okay, descending no... Well, it's tight, but I think it ends up being okay. So what we've got is... And we have to worry about whether Luemini uh, will stay sane for this. Let me try and get this a little bit closer. Okay, well, four kilometers will be fine for now. So we've got, let me get the calculator out. We got 242.4 and then a mid-course adjustment, well, an adjustment of inclination of 190.6 and then 1125.5 and then when we meet up with the target, there's another 433.6 deal with. That's 1992.1. Technically we have it, but boy, <laughs> jeez. Okay, well, as usual, everything, everything gets taken. Let's just hope Luemini, Luemini is fine. And go. Okay, well, that's as good as we're going to do that one for now. Next one we'll probably do with the mob propellant since it's only 190. Uh, we do have a moon encounter very briefly there. And I'm gonna do precisely nothing with it because I don't want to be knocked off because the Kerbal knocked into the pot or something. Monitoring Lemony's stress. Oh. Come on, I can't... yeah. Still 17%, 18% now. Uh, this is the flyby of the moon. As I said, not gonna even touch that one. Dude bus is about to break down, starting to hear voices. Well, we're trying to get to him. Wonder. Okay, well, let's see how much stress Dude bus actually has. 66% stress. Only 3% radiation, though. 
Well, that's good to know. Uh, it seems like uh, Luemini has some room then. <laughs> uh, she's only at 33%. Starting to hear voices. So we'll take double that. The so 45% radiation, and here come the radiation belts again. Oh, she's having trouble concentrating though. Um, these these maneuvers don't make any sense. I think they've been shifted. Uh oh. I think she's lost her mind and shifted the maneuver nodes badly. Okay, let's reevaluate this. Yeah, that one should definitely not be that close if it's uh inclination adjustment, and that one was bringing us into the surface, so that's not a good thing. Okay, that's zero on the relative inclination. Still got some time for that burn. Well, it's looking like Luemini Kerman is going to be our top turbinaut, and she's a farmer. <laughs> uh, well, that's unexpected. Oh, well, the other engine doesn't have quite as much. Uh, let's activate the main engine, too. Okay, well that'll be good for now. Five kilometers seems a bit much, but we have the Delta V for this sequence of maneuvers. And that is the important part. Lemony, 34% stress, only 47% radiation on that pass. How many arms will Luemini have by the time she finally gets back down to Kerbin? Only time can tell. And ignition. Okay, that should be fine for now. And now the rendezvous. Well, I say fine for now, it's a little bit further away than I was planning, but at such a big relative speed we're probably gonna have to do a lot with it. Well, here she goes again through the radiation belts. Intense radiation. 51%, 52%, now, 57, 58. Okay, but we have to do the rendezvous bit. Oh, that was the second one. Okay, okay, well, there's a point four there in four minutes. Uh, what kind of stage time do we have? 45 seconds. All right. I don't know if extra companionship is going to help. Dude Bus's mental situation or not, but here comes some company. Don't know if there's any need to close any more. Okay, Luemini EVA. Uh, just make sure that all data is taken, hopefully. Board, I'll grab. Uh, the board. All right, we've transferred some data. Okay, and we have 231 meters per second. Now we've tested this darn pod for re-entry. We did that accidentally, but we did it. Now, here's the space center. We'll go around once. Hopefully, it'll still be in daylight, and we'll aim for return at the space center. Their, meant, their state is 68% stress for Dudebus, 3% radiation, and Luemini, 58% radiation, 34% stress. So, I'm sure it's a barrel of laughs in there right now. Yeah, well, somewhere, somewhere around here will be fine, I'm sure. Okay, retrograde burn. Nice 30 kilometer periapsis. Arming chutes. That's the main parachute, we want that a little bit higher on the minimum pressure. These guys will say 0 0.07. Jettison of the service module. Make sure the pod has food, water, and oxygen. 
I, I don't. We can't transfer it, which is annoying. But we can't transfer it. So whatever. I'm sure that's enough for the time being. Off that goes. Not as explosive as previously. On the test pod, we had it coming in at a fairly substantial angle, so this shouldn't be any worse. We are in the atmosphere. So, we are fulfilling the rescue Dudbus and Luemini, finally. This is that part. We are not there. Oh, I was looking at the wrong capsule. Shoot. We're nowhere near the KSC. I thought we were that one, but we're this one over here. Okay, well... We're gonna end up in the desert. Okay, well, we've got some heating. We're not slowing down as quickly as I would like, but... We're still pretty high up, too. Now, now more serious G-forces. But everything's dying down, and indeed it's gonna be the desert. Okay, drug shoots. Well, let's hope we don't land on the cactus. Well, the scatter around here don't look very attuned to desert -y stuff, but again, parallax isn't uh, configured for J and SQs, so that's probably why. Probably without J and SQ, uh, this would have been a biome that would benefit from these particular trees. Well, that, that's still an odd mix, though. <laughs> but anyway, we are not landing on a tree, apparently. Oh, well, there are cacti around here. There's some biome specific stuff, the smaller ones are. I wonder if we can science those. Anyway, um, let's just, let's do a crew report. I mean, that seems fair. Okay, uh, dude bus hasn't done much. EVA? EVA report? Okay, board? And recover vessel. Well, let's see what we've got. Well, we've got 92.3 credits science recovered, including a surface sample from the brown basins. So we've got that. Otherwise, arid midlands is what they call the desert, apparently. And parts, well, we got a 9.3% back from Darude Harbor. And we have 10 XP for Luemini. Yeah, the farmer. <laughs> but anyway, so success. And I think I'll wrap it up here. That's quite a lot. And finally, our ordeal is over and we'll see what we can do next. But it looks like we should be aiming for the Duna window and we'll deploy our science to whatever we can get that will help us out best with that. So on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.